about about hydrostatic pressure do you know about pressure what is pressure what is it is it like this so a force on a certain area force per unit area is pressure about the hydrostatic pressure it is the pressure of water when 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 <coughs> somebody is within the water if this is the surface of the water and some person is diving here he is there down there now he is feeling feeling a pressure from the water which is above him and whenever he will go down if this is h this height from the surface to that person now if you increase the h the value of this pressure will increase this will be uh, if this is p not then this if this is p1 then p1 will always be greater than p not because the depth of the water is increased and the pressure of the water which is above the body will increase gradually if we have a scenario like this and i say that this is water at any horizontal plate something like that within water now this is the surface of the water okay the water is up to here you have a tub anything like that this is the surface of the water this whole thing this whole is now water and down there there is a <coughs> horizontal plate and this plate has some length and width so it has an area that is the length and width and this plate is submerged in the fluid and what is the fluid any fluid having density rho and he is saying that this depth from the surface to this plate this depth is d this plate is the distance apart from the surface of the water and our job is to find the total pressure on this plate exerted by the water which is above this plate if these are the limiting lines of this plate okay now this plate has this relationship with the surface this is the this is the dimensions of the whole surface above the plate it means the plate has if you if you if you look at the plate like if you want to figure out the exact portion of the plate from the surface now this is water okay but i'm just splitting this water and this is my plate so only this dimension of the water can apply pressure on this plate because this dimension of the water is in contact with the plate the other water here and here that is not in contact with the plate so i am interested with that volume of the water from this surface to this portion which is in contact with the plate because the water co in contact with the plate there is another layer of the water contact with the the second layer another layer another layer and up to the surface but only within this region because these are the dimensions of the plate but i am interested the volume of the water in this imaginary cylinder which is formed by this plate from here to the surface of the water so i am interested with the volume of the water 
which is exactly in contact with the plate. A volume is actually a length into a width into a height. Now what is length into width? It is the area of the plate. Because the same slit, same, same dimension is going up to the surface. Imaginary cylinder. So L cross W is the this and I can multiply a height as well. And what is height? The height from surface to this plate is what? It is D. So A cross D is the volume of that fluid which is actually exerting pressure on this plate. So I am interested with only this volume of the water which is applying pressure on this. And if I want to get the mass of the same thing, I will use some physics from previous knowledge. What is mass? It is actually the density into the volume. But I have the volume A cross D. So I can write the rho and the volume A cross D, AD. Actually what I want to calculate, I want to calculate the pressure on this plate. And to calculate this pressure, I need a force and some area. To calculate the force, I need a mass and acceleration. I have got the mass and now I can, I know that what is force? Force is mass into acceleration. So I can write force equals to the m rho ad and are multiplied by the gravitational pull G. So I can write pressure equals to force per unit area. What is force written here? It is rho A D G divided by the area. Now this area is cancelled with this area. So it is rho D G. This is the pressure which this plate is facing. Surface. If you are diving into a swimming pool and you jump into the swimming pool, then the surface of the swimming pool, which is you can see from the outside, that is this one. Now you are diving into the swimming pool. And all of a sudden, you went there, went there, and now reached here. So, if you are here, and I am interested, that when you are here, at this position, here, then I am interested to calculate what is the pressure on you. What will be the pressure on you from the water which is above you. So, I need this relationship. For that formula, what was the formula? Formula was rho dg. Now he is asking for a case that if this D is 2 meter, you are at the depth of 2 meter and the density of the fluid is 1000 kilogram per meter cube and you know the value of G is always 9.8 meter per second square then you can see everything is in meters meter 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 so you don't need to convert the units and you can find the pressure simply plug in the values it is 1000 kilogram per meter cube are you talking to me are you talking to me and the distance depth is 2 meter and the gravitational pull is 9.8 meter per second squared. You just need to multiply these quantities, cancel out the units, and you will get P equals to 19,600 kilogram per meter per second squared. This is the unit for the pressure and this unit is known as Pascal, so you can simply write it as 19,600 PA.